is Matthew Pinsent, and I've won four Olympic gold medals. I think life's very different since sport. Um, obviously, when you're pursuing a sport and from Olympics to Olympics to Olympics, it's just one thing. It's very singular. You're very focused. Whereas now, um, you know, I would have said even my sort of professional career is multifaceted, whether it's TV stuff or writing or speaking. Then there's the charity side of life. You know, we've got young kids, so that takes another chunk. So it's a, there's an array of stuff rather than just doing one thing. And, and you know, I don't, I don't miss the rowing. I certainly don't miss the pressure. I don't miss the focus that it requires. Um, I really love the variety now. Yeah, that whole process was, um, in a funny way, very humbling. Um, I knew that Steve Redgrave had been knighted. Um, for him, that happened after Sydney, after five gold medals. And after Athens, the following Olympics, I'd, I'd won four. And I thought, mm, well, you know, five is different to four. And I'm not sure that they would do it. And, and so, yeah, in December, it was in the run-up to Christmas, um, I got a letter to say, uh, would you allow your name to go forward for a knighthood? And uh, you very carefully fill in the box and say yes or no. And I obviously ticked yes. And yeah, it's brilliant. Oh, um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, we used to listen to a lot, mainly because of James Cracknell. I used to love them. And he always used to choose the music, which was a mixed bag. There were good moments and bad moments. But it's funny, I can't now listen to... Um, Red Hot Chili Peppers without thinking of sitting on a row machine and you know going for miles and miles. I think I think the advice about sport is you've got to get into it any sport for the for the right reason. You've got to enjoy it. You've got to love it because if you are going to get to the very top, um, then it's gonna it's gonna take over your life, and you never want people to look back and regret it. Um, and I think the other piece of advice is, you know, why not give it a go? Find out how good you could be. Um, because there are lots of times that you get to a point in a sport where it's like, right, I'm either going to press on and I've got to, got to make proper sacrifices now, whether it's school or life or geography or whatever it is. Um, and I'd always say, look, just, just go for it. Because you'll always regret not finding out. There's always people who said, oh, you know, I had a... I had a call up for such and such a team, or I had a trial for this, or I, I got injured, or I, you know, and it, that, that's what haunts them, is they never really got their chance to show it. Whereas if you can, you know, give it a go, why not? I'm gonna hit the best eight irons of my life around this, around, in this round today. Especially if they all go like that. Hopefully doing some skiing through the winter. Um, got the Winter Olympics coming up uh, in Sochi, in Russia, so I'll be fascinated to see how they go. Uh, also, from a British point of view, following on from London 2012, where we were really successful, uh, but we're not really a winter sports nation, so the, you know, the change of emphasis from winning lots of medals to now a British team where we've probably got a target of you know, two or three medals of any colour would be a great result coming back from, uh, from a Winter Games. Uh, and then after that, we'll move back into the, the rowing season again. I'm still involved in my sport uh, as an official. Um, so that'll be surrounding the boat race and then the, uh, the, the, the summer series of international races and Henley, that'll all be part of the, uh, the programme when the, when the weather improves again and the sun's back out. And hopefully, throughout it all, uh, some nice golf and keep that handicap coming down. Oh, baby.